Wow. So much love. We have the lovers and we have the magician at the bottom of the deck. That's someone in full-blown manifestation mode, yeah? Either someone needs to make a choice between two people or I'm getting that someone is um, wanting to have a very positive beginning, okay? There could have been a separation between you guys but with the lovers here there is mutual love between you guys okay you're both feeling this connection very very mutually you both realize that this is your soulmate and um, either someone needs to make a very significant life-changing decision or someone just needs to make a choice between two people but regardless with the magician here you guys are making this happen okay you're both trying to make this happen you're both trying to manifest this new beginning Alright, what are Aquarius' feelings towards the person they are dealing with? What are Aquarius' feelings towards the person they are dealing with? What is this person's feeling towards Aquarius? What are this person's feelings towards Aquarius? What are the blockages? Alright, Aquarius, your feelings towards this person is the Six of Pentacles. So I'm almost like getting like you're feeling this connection so mutually and it's almost like you want this so bad with the Six of Pentacles. Either you're wanting a reciprocity from this person, you want an equal give and take, you want to invest into this person as much as they did to you or this is just what you want towards them, okay? You want them to invest it to you as much as you're invested into them. This is equal give and take, okay? Their feelings towards you is the three of swords. So they're in some kind of heartbreak, okay? Something stressing them out and something could have toned them emotionally or this is just a lot of stress, a lot of uh, emotional anxiety. Uh, this is just heartbreak, okay? Something could have cut you through deep, cut them through deep. And that's why the blockage is that things are on hold right now with the hangman here. Something's just not moving forward. Let's clarify. Why is the six of pentacles here? Where's the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, see, with the Two of Wands in reverse here, I feel like you're waiting and waiting and waiting. Two of Wands in reverse. It's almost like you need to make a decision, but you're holding off that decision. With the Queen of Swords here, I feel that it's almost like, you know what, you're in that no-nonsense, no-bullshit mode, okay? It's like, come on now. I want this answer now. Like, give it to me now. And I need to hear what I need to hear because you're waiting for this reciprocity. But with the Two of Wands in reverse here, I feel this person's holding back a decision. Okay, or you could be holding back a decision. What is this two of wands in reverse? With the devil and the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, so things are not moving forward. You could have been very addicted or very obsessed with this person, okay? With the devil and the nine of wands in reverse here, okay? But you're obsessively wanting this person, okay? And with the nine of wands here in reverse, I feel that earlier you were probably very blocked towards this person, okay? Very defensive. Your guard was high up and you were very defensive, okay? It's almost like you were like very scared and afraid of this person or you just had trust issues. Could be because some past relationship issues or could be within this relationship, okay? But I think with the devil here, um, you feel a sense of codependency towards this person, okay? Again, I'm getting a of addiction like you just cannot let go of this relationship and i'm getting more like you're hell-bent on making this happen with the nine of wands in reverse here i feel I, I don't feel like you're giving up i don't feel like you're at the end of the rope right but i feel like you know what the person you're dealing with could have had a lot of addictions all right or they could have just had a lot of fear within this relationship could be fear of commitment whatever have you okay but with the nine of wands in reverse here i feel that this person is wanting to is is um letting their guards down and they're wanting to let you in but with the devil here there is that element of toxicity within the relationship Again, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse on the bottom of the deck, I feel that there's someone here who's choosing to stay in a situation, okay? And they're not ready to get out of that situation. Could be external situations that are coming between you guys and that's why the timing is off. Or it could also mean that someone's choosing to stay in that situation and not wanting to remove its, themselves from that situation, okay? That's why they're stuck. This, this situation is very toxic you know it's almost like draining you out completely because you are like six of pentacles and with the two of wands and you feel this person just holding you back 
there's a lot of disappointment with this person is what I'm getting. And again, with the devil, you're getting a lot of codependency on this person or you're just very addicted to this person. It's like that toxic situation that you just cannot let it go. And it's almost like you're at the end of the rope and ready to give up with the nine of wands in reverse. It's almost like, screw it. I cannot do this. I cannot wait anymore. Why is the three of swords here as the person? Why is the three of swords here as the person saying? This person could have been very, very deceptive in the past, okay? I'm not getting a lot of deception. The three of swords, yes, it can be a third party situation. I'm not getting a third party situation. <clears throat> what I'm getting with the seven of swords and reverse and the three of swords is that this person is very, very hurt. I think they're feeling very, very guilty and they want to come back to you, all right? But the hermit here, this person could have literally ghosted you, okay? But this person is in isolation right now and they're doing a lot of contemplation and they're doing a lot of thinking. So what's happening here is that you are getting fed up of waiting for this person while this person is wanting to return back to you. But because of the hermit mode, right? They're hermiting, you know, right now. They're not talking. Lack of communication is what I can get. But um, it's just that you're just losing your patience because things are on a hold because this is your biggest blockage with the hangman here. Things are just on hold. You're not ready to take action. So this person probably wants to come towards you, okay, but because they're isolated, they're in their cocoon, they're not ready to talk, um, they're contemplating, they're doing a lot of soul searching, right? You're like, what is going on? I feel the devil is your that obsession, like, come on now, you know? And you're almost ready to give up. Why is the, why is the hangman here? This person is doing a lot of thinking. They want to come back to you for sure. But with the three of swords here, I think it's stressing this person out a lot. And because they're hermiting, right, you feel that they don't want you and they don't love you. But actually, it's just that they're taking their own time. Yes, the hermit is someone, you know, who's just not doing anything about it. But again, it's a lot of thinking, 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 which can give the other person a lot of mixed signals. And that's exactly what's happening to you. Why is the hangman here as a blockage? Yeah, see, because there's a need for you guys to talk. There's a need for you to guys to let go of control issues with the strength in reverse, okay? But things are just on hold. You guys are just not doing any anything about it. The hangman is not the advice here. It is a blockage, which means that you need to come out of that isolation. There's too much thinking going on, okay? And with the Knight of Swords here, it's almost like I'm getting this, this situation needs attention now. It could also mean that someone out here with the Knight of Swords thinks that, you know what, things need to be on hold because once they start, you know, to improve things, once they start to come in with the communication, right, things may just like move on very, very quickly. See what I say? They're trying to avoid a disaster here. Someone's putting things on hold for sure on purpose with the Knight of Swords. This person wants to rush in and talk, okay? Or they want to move things quick. Or this is just someone who wants to move things quick, okay? And probably that's why this person is keeping things on hold because they want to avoid a disaster. That's why, look, there's so much of holding back. There's so much of holding back. There's so much passion here. But this person is holding back on purpose. There is a lack of forward movement here because someone's just not taking action. Knight of Wands in Reverse, yes, it is someone who's got player-like tendencies. But what I'm getting more is like someone who just doesn't know what they want right now. I feel you're dealing with a little immature energy, okay? Someone who's very in and out of it, in and out of it, in and out of it. Again, giving you a lot of mixed signals. They're trying to avoid. The blockage is here that someone's trying to avoid a disaster, that they just don't want to come, come and confront the situation. That's why things are on hold. Now, this could be you avoiding a confrontation because you don't want things to end badly, or this is them who's trying to avoid a, conf uh, avoid a confrontation. That's the biggest blockage out here, communication, not wanting to come in and solve the problem. Because you probably feel that with the Knight of Swords here, whoever this is or both of you, that you feel it's going to be turned out into a conflict and an argument rather than a being like a mature conversation. Because we don't have the King of Swords here, we have the Knight of Swords. They come in and go, they say what they want and they leave. And they don't want, someone wants to avoid a conflict, they want to avoid drama. What action will Aquarius take towards this person moving forward? Four of Wands in reverse. You're shutting the door on this person. With the Moon in reverse, yeah, something could have been re re revealed. Or it's almost like either you're suppressing your emotions, you're wearing a false mask, and you're like, you know what, fuck it. Because with the Nine of Wands in reverse here, again, a lot of giving up energy. Like, screw this, I can't push through anymore. Or with the Four of Wands in reverse here, yeah, you're just wanting to end this connection because you can't wait anymore. Why is the Four of Wands in reverse here? Yeah? 
Can I find a photo from one of your boys? See, you're giving up. What did I just say? You could be dealing with a control freak or you just feel like the control that the situation is completely out of your hands, okay? It's completely out of control. And with the strength and diversity, you're giving up. You're not making any move towards this person. You're almost shutting the door to this person, you know? It's like you're ending this long-term connection. You could be in a long-term commitment with this person. You could have wanted commitment with this person, but you realize that the situation or this person just doesn't hold the stability and security that you're wanting. And maybe this person's just with a hermit. They're taking too long to open up, too long. Someone's holding back on purposes, what I feel, because they want to avoid drama. They want to avoid a certain confrontation is what I'm getting again and again. And they think... The High Priestess just came out. Someone's just holding on to their intuition, okay? And they're just trusting their intuition. Someone's just being very, very quiet and keeping to themselves. What, uh, what action will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward? Yeah. Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Either you're walking away, this person's walking away, they're giving up on this situation with the um, Seven of Wands in reverse here. Again, I'm getting, I'm getting that this person needs to grow up. This person doesn't want to fight anymore. This person doesn't want to fight anymore, okay? With the page of wands in reverse here, I feel that this person is just lacking, that they're unsure of communicating, okay? Too many cards here. But this person is cutting down on the drama. They don't want drama, okay? That's why they're purposely cutting communication. Because with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? So this person is choosing to be single. The Aquarius, if there is someone who you want commitment with, with the Four of Wands here, this person is choosing to be single. And if it's single, and if that's the kind of conversation that you expect from them, well, then yeah, they're walking away, you're walking away. Someone's walking away because someone's no, no longer fighting for this anymore, okay? You're releasing that tension that you have in the head. You're like, you know what, I'm done, bye-bye. And with the page of wands in reverse here, there's a lack of communication, just this lack of passion. It's a lot of lackluster here. And with the seven of wands and the sun in reverse, I feel that someone's giving up, okay? And it's almost like someone needs to grow up is what I'm getting, okay? With the sun in reverse here, either you're taking things too seriously or I'm getting someone's lacking optimism in this situation. However, this person on this side here, right? I think this person is choosing to be single, wanting to be secure and confident on their own. They're okay on their own. They don't need this relationship. They don't, they have, they're not ready for a commitment is what I'm getting with the King of Pentacles in reverse here. This person is very focused on everything and anything but the relationship. What is the likely outcome between Aquarius and the person they're dealing with? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Give me one more card for the outcome. Why is the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Releasing. What is the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Why for the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Okay. All right, I get good news here, okay? Uh, with the Four of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Pentacles here, bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress here, okay? So what I'm getting is that there's a lot of stability and security, all right, at the likely outcome. But with the Four of Pentacles reverse, so what I'm getting is the good news is that this person probably, you're releasing, okay? You're releasing probably the Ten of Pentacles, okay? You're releasing that entire thought of wanting a commitment with this person is what I'm getting because with the Ten of Pentacles, I'm getting that you want this anyhow, okay? And you could have held on to this person or held on to this situation very for a very long time, okay? It's like you were very stubborn and held on wanting this commitment with this person. But I feel that with the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to release this person and you're going to go forward and look for your Ten of Pentacles, okay? Because this is clearly not the, what this person wants. And with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress here, I feel you're focusing on your growth, your expansion. You're focusing on your stability and your growth you're focusing on your overall life is what i'm getting because this person clearly is um not very sure about what they want and i think they're very focused on themselves they're focused on what makes them happy or they're very focused on their singlehood okay and they're still wanting to be in that energy and you out here on the other hand you're giving up on this person so it's almost like you realize your worth and value okay and you want growth expansion with this person but it's almost like okay with the justice in reverse here, you feel things are just not fair, okay? This person is just not offering you what you deserve. So I think you're releasing this person, okay? And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like, you know what? I'm not settling for anything lesser than this. And it's like, if you are not going to give this to me, then you're. I'm ready to let you go, is what I'm getting. Because you are still going to go after and chase your Ten of Pentacles, is what I'm getting.
Give me one more card for the King of Pentacles in reverse. Where's the King of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, see? Ten of Swords. This person's ending things, okay? It's almost like an ending to a lot of mental trauma. Ending to... They're feeling like a victim right now, okay? It's like, you know what? This person is like, yeah, oh, I can't offer you commitment. I can't be with you. I'm feeling so bad about it. But with the Nine of Pentacles, this person's really wanting to enjoy uh, being single, okay? You know what I'm getting here is like, this person doesn't want to hurt you, okay? They, maybe this person really feels for you. They feel that mutual connection with you. But what I'm getting is like this person cannot let go of their singlehood, okay? And this person is just not about the commitment, okay? And with the Ten of Swords here, I feel this person is going to end this connection. That's why probably with the Hermit, this person is taking so much time. They're trying to avoid a disaster because they know that's why they're keeping things on hold on purpose for the Tower in Reverse here. They're trying to avoid this disaster from falling completely apart. Clap for the Ten of Pentacles. Give me one more card for the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Cups walking away. Like I said, right? Something's going to be... There is unfinished between, uh, business between you and the person you're dealing with, but someone's feeling very, very powerless and very, very disappointment, uh, disappointed about the situation that's going on. You're moving forward, not crying over spilled milk anymore. Something's going to be very unfinished between you guys, okay? There's a cycle that's not going to be complete. I think it's a pause i think it's a pause but right now i feel you're letting go of the situation because it's just not working out for you and this person is someone who's just not giving you the clarity okay because they're hermiting and i think they're holding that conflict back on purpose but yeah with the ten of swords here i mean someone's got to feel very backstabbed and betrayed and they're putting an end to this mental trauma i feel you're walking away from this entire plan of wanting a commitment Okay, you're releasing this person, okay, because you could have held on to this person who you once deemed to be very, very um, secure, some, someone who you really, who really held a lot of value. So, yeah, that's what I got for you, Clarice. All right, I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.